just me or I feel like I haven't done a favorites video in a few months. That's right, I haven't. <laughs> I skipped February, you guys. Um, my apologies. Um, I just did not have enough products to make a video about. And I like to make kind of long favorites videos just because I find them the most informative. Um, besides Holly Ann Aries hits and misses videos, I find that favorites videos are the most informative because I always love trying out new products. Nonetheless, my apologies for not making February. I kind of have a mixture of February and March in this one. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I have for you guys is two mascaras and this is a like a duo that I was kind of loving um, the all of February and then kind of early March and then I kind of got away from it because I just wanted to switch it up but I did really love it and that is this duo right here. So the first thing that I would do is I would use my Tarte and I suck, oh this is the Light Caramel Lashes and can I just talk about this packaging really quickly? It is like quilted like snake skin, it's fake people, don't get all upset, but um, it's just a really nice basic mascara. I mean, it's kind of volumizing, kind of lengthening, kind of darkening, kind of thickening type thing, but I just liked it if I needed to put a few coats on my lashes and kind of be done with it. Um, I got this in a holiday pack. So, I, I think retailing gets a little bit on the expensive side. But, besides that, um, this is just a really nice mascara. They do have one that's in a gold packaging. It's a completely different mascara. Um, but it's still tart and it's in gold and I really like it. Um, Beauty Baby 44 talked about it and I really liked it. So, yeah. Um, Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. And then on top of that, I've talked and raved about this mascara. Like, I'm obsessed with it. And this is the Fiber Lash Extended Mascara. I got this in a birch box. I know what you're thinking. A birch box? You're crazy. I did get it in a birch box, you guys. Um, it is just one of those fiber extending lashes. So, like, you coat it on and it, like, lengthens your lashes and stuff like that. These two together are absolutely amazing they look my they make my lashes look like they're false basically so that's why I like them and I also like this I did not show this in my birch box review that I did this one has a mirror on the back of it see it has a mirror isn't that cool like you know type of thing yeah yeah it's the little things in life I swear <laughs> I'm gonna talk about some more Tarte products because apparently this was the month of Tarte uh, when I ordered my holiday collection in like the beginning of December um, they said I got a free sample. I was like, cool, I love free samples. And it was the Tarte BB Cream. They did not send it to me. That's really sad. And so I emailed them. They sent me a full-size one. Holla, City of Squala. I don't even know. So basically, I love this stuff. I am in the color. My color. I don't even think you guys can see. It's kind of bright in here. And yeah, it's a really pretty color. It makes me look a little on the darker side sometimes. But that's okay because I use this, I'm going to use this all throughout the summertime, and I just love BB creams. I really do. I think I'm going to do a updated, or I don't think I did one, but I want to do like a BB cream face-off. Yeah, face-off between the BB creams. Nonetheless, this is a really nice BB cream. I don't know what this retails for because it was a gift to me. So, I will have that all linked in the down bar below, but yes, love this. It doesn't make my skin oily or anything, and it has, like, light to medium coverage, but that's okay because I have a ton, like, I put concealer on and everything, so. Tar Baby Cream, yay! Speaking of concealers, I, at the beginning of the month of March, found out about the lovely Rimmel London's Wake Me Up Concealer. Now, this is a drugstore, so you cannot swatch which is a pain in the behind because I can never tell if I am a certain color or not. And of course, I didn't go with the lighter color and I got the darker one that I thought of the two. And it's too dark on me. But I still love this stuff because I don't put that much on so like I can like blend it in type thing. Nonetheless, this is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up concealer. Pretty sure they have a foundation. This is light to medium and it's too dark for me. So if I do recommend, even though it's a pain in the butt that 
the colors are not very wide ranged that you go with the lighter one like if you're like if you're between two of them get the lighter one but nonetheless this is a Greg sealer does not make me feel oily it covers very well um, and I like the little applicator brush because you know it's just very very simple you know dip dab on my face you know maybe look like I got chicken pox but yeah, um, it's a little on the darker side, Good. and it's a it's fairly inexpensive. I want to say it was like in the four to five dollar range, and you get a lot of product. So I like this. I just hope it doesn't dry up on me. I really hope because when I use concealers, I don't use that much of them. So, but if it does dry up, it is only four or five dollars. So yeah, I have struggled for the longest time to find a powder that I like to put on top of my foundation because. I find one and then it's out and then it like goes up in price like it's absolutely ridiculous like I was using the Sephora one for the longest time and I really really really, really like that one but it was like 20 bucks when I got it and I think it went up um, so I didn't want to get that one and then I was trying a Neutrogena one and that went out and that was like $20 still because Neutrogena is so flipping expensive so then I finally came across Sierra Marie Makeup, who I'm subscribed to, and she was telling me about the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, and I love her for telling me about this because of the simple fact that, one, it's really dirty, it is a great powder for all of you oily skinned girls out there. Can I get a what what? I, I have such oily skin, and every time I wear this, I never feel like it's like it's not cakey it's not like it compresses the the oils and it doesn't make my skin more oily I just love this now I'm in color light I am pretty sure that this is the, either the lightest or second lightest color um and I don't think I'm I don't think I'm too pale um but when I get during the summer I get really really dark so for right now this powder has been a godsend I love it it's my Maybelline I think it's like eight bucks maybe you cannot beat that and I love it it's extremely small though I feel like um oh and the other thing I liked okay so there's this little separate part right and I was like trying to lift it up no that doesn't it slides it slides and then you get a mirror say hi to yourself and you get a little of this so I thought it was really nice it's great for traveling it's a great size and it's really affordable and the colors range extremely well a while back I did a Sephora haul uh, it was like a, with a bunch of other things but um, I got a bunch of primers for my face and I raved about the Smashbox one like I am in love with the Smashbox one I hopefully will be purchasing it soon but if I don't I don't know what I'll do um, when that ran out though I had to find a new primer and I had the Too Faced one so I tried it and I really liked it um, it wasn't my fave um, and then I retried it again and I really liked it because I was using it with a really awkward foundation and I actually don't use that foundation anymore so yeah um, I mix it with my or I don't mix it but I use it with my Revlon Nearly Naked and I really like it so this is the Primed and Poreless uh, primer from Too Faced and I really like this stuff. Too Faced has some really cool products I've noticed. They have like this chocolate bronzer that smells like milk chocolate like what? You made me fat. But yeah I really like this primer. Um, it's probably really expensive considering the fact that I have the sample that was free um, but you know all high-end stuff is expensive so that's why they call it high-end. But um, when this is done I'll have to find a new one. Um, but for the month of March, and I think I used it most of February, I really, really enjoyed this primer. Lately, I have just been obsessed with grooming my brows. I don't know why. I don't ever do anything to my eyebrows. Um, like literally nothing. I don't pluck. I don't wax. I don't shape. I don't do anything. But I just saw a lot of people getting into doing it, and I was like, oh, me, I want to jump on that bandwagon so um I got the elf kit and this is in the shade medium I think it's like the only one that they sell and basically what this comes with is a gel and a uh, powder and a little applicator brush which I use 
I don't use the powder. Powder makes them look too dark. I do use the gel. Um, I just kind of, you know, lightly go fill in, and then I take my e.l.f. This is the wet gloss. It's Lash and, Brow, Lash and Brow and then Clear Mascara. So I just use this scent, and it's so nasty. I mean, ew. I think I like my eyebrows, you know, a little bit on the darker side. Um, gives my face some definition, I guess. I don't know. Um, $3 at Target, $1 at Target, 4 bucks to do your brows. Can't beat it. I don't know if I should have put this in April's favorites or not because I've only been using it for like a week. But I fell in love with it, and I don't ever use liner. I don't. I hate liner. I think it makes my eyes look too dark. And when I got my glam bag for February, I received this liner. And this is the Micah Beauty Cosmetics Gel Liner. If you guys have a glam bag and you guys have tried this, you better tell me how much you love it. This is the best liner I've ever used. I mean... It is so pigmented and creamy and it just glides right on and I'm like holy crap like I had to use it because if you guys follow me on Instagram I went to a Kesha vs. Malcolmore party I know YOLO um I I needed liner and I was like oh I've not used this one yet grab it type thing oh my god the surprise on my face I was like telling Chris I was like Shut up. Why would I not use this liner? He was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, no, I have never used this liner. Like, I love this stuff. So I don't know what it retails for. I will put that, like I said, all in the description box. This stuff is bomb, though. This is just a black gel cream liner, and it is so pigmented. It glides on so well. Like, I just, I can't tell how much, I can't tell you how much I love this product. Like, I will wear gel liner forever now because of this product. Speaking of Christopher, he just brought me a McFlurry. Yep. It's an Oreo line too. Big relish. He just knocked on my door and he was like, bang, bang, bang. And he just handed it to me and he kind of ran. I was like, thanks. See ya. Thank you. Just let's, let's give this video a thumbs up for Christopher for bringing me a Oreo McFlurry. Mm. Um, I don't necessarily like loose makeup and what I mean loose I mean like loose powder loose blush loose whatever loose pigment eyeshadows I just don't like them um but I found one I liked and I showed you guys this I'm pretty sure in a haul and if I'm wrong I'm sorry this is the wet n wild ultimate minerals loose blush powder and this is what it looks like it's in this little can and then you screw it off I did I was unscrewing it more what I like though this is the big, like, finale. Look, it has this cap on it, so if you drop it or you need to, you know, pour more, it has this little cap and then the cap comes off and there's product. Like, I've never seen that. Now, maybe you guys have and maybe I am just oblivious to life, but I really like this. Um, and I got this at Rite Aid, I think. Um, and it was like a dollar, maybe. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. And this is the color Barely Peach. It's number 165. I'm pretty sure I hold this, but love it, love it, love it. I have two lip products for you guys. This one, I just, oh, I have a love-hate relationship with it. And I'll tell you why I love it. Because it's the L'Oreal Color, L'Oreal Color Rich and blushing sequin. First off, the name, love. Love it, love it. It's, the color here is not the true color. It's definitely just a pink, like a brighter pink. Um, I hate it because of the price. These bad boys are $10. That is insane. I think, the that's where I saw it the most expensive. I saw it the most expensive at like CVS and Walgreens. They were like $10. But then like at Target and Walmart, they're like $7.98 or something like that. That is just, come on, drugstores. Let's get real. I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm not because I did, but I'm not going to buy anymore if they're going to be that expensive. But this color is so pretty. Um, I don't have it on today. I have a different one, but this color is just, let me search it for you guys. It's so pretty, and the thing I like about them, 
is that they're very sheer. Um, so this, it looks like it's going to be like an actual kind of lipstick, but it's more like a lip gloss type thing going on. Um, and they last a really long time. So like these, get them at the drugstore, try and go to Target or Walmart because they're uber expensive at Rite Aid and Girl Walgreens. The last makeup related beauty product is CarMax, you guys. I, I think it was in my hair care routine. I started coming down with this infection around my lips. That sounds really weird. I'm going to get to the point of it. Um, my lips in this area around my lips was all dry. Um, my lips were completely chapped. Like, the skin was peeling off. Like, they were burning. Like, I would, I would scrub them. And I'd do lip scrub. This was going on for, it's been on for a few months. I want to say, like, in beginning of February. At least beginning of February. I have been miserable and I have put, I have moisturized and I have scrubbed with my toothbrush to like get all the dead skin off. No, it just did not work. So finally, um, Saturday, uh, Chris and I went home and we met my mom at Costco and she had talked to the pharmacist and he said put Carmex on it. Now, Every suitable and intelligent person would have thought to put CarMax because CarMax is the miracle to this earth as far as lips. I put this bad boy on and within five minutes my lips were looking better. I'm not kidding you, my lips were as red as that. I mean that doesn't look very red but it looks red. Um, I, I, was, I was miserable. So I put this on and I have already like halfway there is yeah it's you have to like swoop down I'm gonna put some on right now oh I'm not even kidding you guys this was amazing the this was the best two dollar something that my mother has ever spent I like she could look at me and be like god she looks miserable and people would be like what's wrong with your lips and I'm like I don't want to go in public everyone hates me no it was so bad so Thank you to the pharmacist who recommended Carmex to my mother and for the inventor of Carmex because you have made me an extremely happy, healthy, smiling person. <laughs> Moving on to hair, um, I bought this product quite long ago and when I bought it I used it and I hated it. That's funny, this is a favorites video, not an I hate products video. This is the Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo, or Dry Your Shampoo, no, Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. This stuff is bomb. I used it once and I hated it. Then I started working with it a little bit and I really started to like it. I think what's weird is that it's in an aerosol can, so watch. It's weird. Like, that's supposed to go near my face and my hair. Like, all that power. You know what I'm saying? So, and it was weird because I've only used the Lush one and I've only used the something else. And they've all been powders. And I, you know, and I'm working in. This is technically the same thing. Um, when it does leave, like, go on your hair then, it leaves like a powdery kind of effect. And you just like work it in and stuff like that. And I have just fallen in love because with like it's so much power going like in there and stuff this is I'm totally the wrong way um it really makes your hair really volumized and I know Batiste uses a aerosol can for their dry shampoos and I have not tried them if any of you guys have tried Batiste dry shampoos leave me a comment below I really want to try them because I love this stuff so I'm really just intrigued to try more dry shampoos and aerosol cans but nonetheless this is an Ulta I think this was like five or six dollars so not too bad um, I use this quite often and I'm only I don't even want to say I'm halfway through so yeah love this stuff it's a great value I only have one clothing item which is kind of shocking because you know I wear clothes every day but I only found that like one item was really constantly in my wardrobe and that is my military jacket I hauled this in my spring haul and I just I've worn this so many times. You guys know my polka dot shirt that I got from, from Forever 21 when I was in New York? Yeah. How much I've worn that? Yeah. This is the replacement. I love this. Like I told you guys in my spring haul, I've been looking for one and I could not find one. And this was, oh, it's just so comfy. In days when it's a little bit on the sunny side and I don't want to wear my big parka, um, 
this is perfect because and just it looks so cute layering and I just love it so this is the one from Arizona and it's I mean literally it's just a plain military jacket there is nothing special about it but it's special to me because I found one that looks good and it doesn't have a bunch of crap all over it and I just love I just love that this trend has come in and I hope it does not leave for an extremely long time I know everyone is really hyped up on the Bath and Body Works candles, but sometimes I feel like oh, I just I love them and I hate them type thing. You know, they raise the price up and even though they burn like so long, like I get that. But just sometimes I just oh, I don't know. So, I was at Target with my best friend Amanda and we were like looking at the candles and I saw this one and this is the Sweet Sponge Sugar. And it's a soy candle and it's just pink this one's done I've burned the life out of it it smells like cotton candy you guys Bath and Body Works does not have a cotton candy smelling candle at least that I don't know of five dollars for this bad boy five dollars okay and I love it the, the burn life on it was great it smelt up the whole entire room and then God bless my roommate I love her. What does she do? She comes into my room yesterday and she says she wanted to give me my Easter present early. She bought me the big one. And the big one is has two wicks in it. And I'm looking at it right now. It's 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 like that big. It's huge. And they were ten dollars. So if you could go to Target and find the sweet sponge sugar, burn it, smell awesome. And leave me a comment below and tell me how much you love it because they are amazing. And they have a whole line of these candles. Like, I might seriously be buying these candles instead of the Bath and Body Works one because these smell so good. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. The songs I've been loving right now have basically been to two of the men of the moment. They have just swept the music nation with their beautiful songs and I love them. The first one is I'm gonna pop some tags, only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I'm, I'm hunting, looking for a drama. This is fucking awesome. Second one is As long as I got my suit and tie, I'ma leave it all on the floor tonight. And it got fixed up to the nines. Let me show you a good thing. So basically, Malcolm Moore and Justin Timberlake, every time your song comes on, I have a little bit of a fangirl moment. I love you guys so much. So much. I just, will you marry me, please? <laughs> so that is it for my favorites, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if it was a little long. If you have any video requests or comments or anything like that, questions you want to ask, whatever, leave them in a comment below. I'll be sure to get to them. Let me know some of your favorites in the comments below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thing that I have are two mascaras. Detroit scored. Yay. I wanna pine and ball and pining and ball. Mm -mm. I wanna party and ball. Thank you, Megan Rosette, for getting that song stuck in my head. Watched her video today. My dark my <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not dying. I'm not dying, I promise. I'm just sick. Okay. <coughs> I swear to God, I'm so sick. I guess I'll just eat more of my ice cream Oreo. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Oh! I see the frost. I'm so weird, I swear to God. I don't know why you guys watch me. <laughs> Okay, for reals though, let's do this.